Hello guys and welcome to iPhone 4S iOS 6 review. As you can probably see right here right now, I'm running iOS 6, my iPhone 4S. And there's a lot of things I want to show you about this brand new iOS. Let's start with the first thing, the maps. The brand new maps by YouTube. Let's go to the United States of the America. No, let's actually go to the New York here. I'd like to see New York. So let's search for it. Because I, I'd like to see the 3D view of New York. Let's go in 3D view. Let's zoom a bit. Zoom in a bit, not zoom a bit. Um, and the 3D view should be loading. It's still rendering for me. And yes, here we have it. The 3D view of the city. How pro is it going to be? My internet is being a bit slow. Um, this is actually pretty cool, the 3D view is. Um, let's zoom in a bit more as the files, the buildings are being rendered. Cool. Have a look at City of New York here. That's neat here, right, right here, right, life. The City of New York. New York State in 3D. Wow. Um, that's also kind of neat, and I'd like to go from, not my current location, I would go from New York, no, I would, I would go from Brussels, no, I had to, so, um, let's go from Washington, just some basics, Washington to New York, let's try this, let's root us. I'd like to stop the 3D view for this though. Safety warning, please be safe and always pay attention onto the road. Road conditions and directions may change to be inaccurate. Always observative, yeah, whatever. Um, I'd like to pick route one, so I'd like to start. Okay, so we start right here. We can actually go into 3D view to do this. And yeah, here we go. So we can actually go through the things. Um, I'm not really in New York right now, so it won't have the proper voice thing, uh, I think, but that's not that, that's not, that's not that bad. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of, lot more things to show you. For example, the Facebook integration in Safari. Um, let's go to the Mac Rumor site here. Yes, this should be the new Safari. Let's turn it around. Um, we got right here this button. And here we got all the things we can do. We can print it, we can bookmark it, copy it, add to the reading list. And if I add, it, add this to the reading list, I will be able to offline read it. That's also pretty neat. We can Facebook, Twitter, message, or mail this. What we also have, but I don't think I implemented this yet, is the iCloud interneting, but that's not, well, that's not that. Well, yeah, I can't show you right now because I don't have this enabled, but you also have this, so go ahead and use it. We also got Passbook, basically, boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons you can add right here. Um, let's go to the App Store, maybe that will show us something uh, that we can use. Also, there's a new App Store, by the way. You probably notice. Um, why you no know, load App Store? They're probably getting like this big overflow. Everyone's trying to get into the new App Store. Come on. Okay, cool. So this is the new App Store. Um, can I turn the App Store now? No, still can't turn it. Um, cool. So this is the App Store. That's my email address. You saw that there. I think it doesn't matter too much. Um. This is still in Dutch though, which it shouldn't be. Um, anyway, so this is the new App Store, kind of neat. There's also a brand new iTunes too. It's loading the iTunes for us right now, right here. There's a whole new music iTunes store. Also pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's basically 
it for the app store. There's also a new iBook and newsstands, but well, I can. Do I have this installed? Probably don't. Uh, let's go to the newsstand store and show you this. Yep, new newsstand store too. Cool. You also got FaceTiming over uh, 3G now, and not only over Wi-Fi, but that's not really something I can show you right here. There's also the phone. If someone calls to you, you can answer, reply with a message, or remind later. Um, cool. The mail system has also been improved. You got a VIP box where you can put your VIP mail. You can mail photos and videos a lot easier. Then, as I already showed you, there's Safari with its iCloud tabs, offline reading list. Basically, if you add pages to the offline, or for example, you add a specific page to the offline reading list, and um, whenever you're not connected to the internet, you will be able to read that page. So that's also really, really cool. There's also the accessibility. Um, I think I can show you that in the settings right here. Oh, uh, settings. There is this little small button somewhere. Privacy. Um, this is also a part of it, I think. Applications have, yeah. So basically, you have to give access to applications to use each of these specific things. And then you can set your privacy settings. You can also put your do not disturb totally on, and that way you won't be disturbed by anyone if they try to call you. Uh, also, kind of neat. What do we have more in here? We have maps settings, normal, loud, kilometer, miles, always English, and the label sizes. That's kind of cool, kind of neat. All my program settings here. Um, to show you, I am actually on iOS 6 right now. Oh, yeah, you can't see these numbers. Fuck you. Oh man, I'm gonna have to edit this part out. Mm, bad idea. I'm on I'm on iOS 6. So it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, what do we have more? The accessibility. How do you do this? Like this somewhere? No. Hmm. Yeah, you can basically have guided access in programs. For example, if I go to Temple Run, let's go to Temple Run. Um, Temple Run. Then I can actually select. I'm gonna have to lower this volume a bit. I can. Don't ask me how, but I can do a special trick with this. Yeah, that will open Siri. Oh, come on, no, no, come on. Oh. Um, so there's guided access. You can actually make sure that your child, children, if they're playing on their iPad, that they can't leave their coloring applications. That's also kind of cool. Um, I showed you most of this. Basically, I showed you most of the things. But there's also something new with the camera, which we we should also check this out. Um, you won't see that much right now, only my screen. But you have the panorama photo thing. Um, and the options probably panorama. And basically what the panorama allows you to do, you can move your um, iPhone whenever you're taking photos. And that way, you will basically have this big panorama picture. For example, if you're on top of the Eiffel Tower and you want to take, take this big panorama picture of a big part of Paris, you can just say, okay, panorama, and then you will be able to do stuff like that. So that's also pretty neat, pretty cool. Uh, let's go out of the camera here and check what I missed. I don't. I think I said most things, most new things right here. Um, yeah, I said most of the things. Yeah, um, we also got some new Siri improvements, which I can actually show you. Uh, if I press on the info button, we can do some cool new stuff. We can launch photos. We can launch application, we can do sports, we can take directions home, movies, restaurants for Belgium too, for Europe. Um, a lot of cool stuff. I can actually try something out here. Let's ask for some sports. Um, wait, let's... Show me the football scores from last night. Okay, so yeah, the sports. How's the tennis? I don't know if these things will work. No. Yeah. 
Okay, never mind. This was Siri. <laughs> um, so yeah, we also probably have voice recognition in Siri somewhere. Yeah, here. Type following. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, it does work. Um, pretty neat and cool. So this was my little um real little thing about the iOS 6. I hope you guys like it. Go and play around with it right now. It's really cool. Um, gotta love iOS 6. Uh, the iPhone 5 is shipping Friday or next week for most other countries. So, uh... Cautious.